And when you get to season 13, that means that you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, and that's how we find ourselves here. <laughs> The whole scale of all the amazing things you guys have been able to do, where does this fall? I think we might be at the apex. This yeah. might be as good as it gets for us and our careers ever. <laughs> so we're trying to relish the moment. I think the fact that we keep on sort of pushing the envelope. We did an episode, um, The French Mistake, where we totally broke the fourth wall and we were characters in an alternate universe where we were shooting an episode of Supernatural. I mean, there's just like, we've done these things that no other show has ever tried to do. There's never been a live action drama that has done a crossover with a comedy uh, animated show. This hasn't happened before, and I think the fact that we are um, not only willing but excited to sort of break conventions and do weird things, um, all, it makes us as actors and, and the writers on the show as well excited to keep coming back to work, but it also makes the audience sort of curious, like what the hell are they going to do next? It doesn't get routine. Uh, there's a rule that they have in the writer's room on Supernatural, which is if they've done anything iterative of this idea before, they're not going to do it again. So they're always looking for something new, and when you get to season 13, that means that you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, and that's how we find ourselves here. <laughs> for more Clever, click that box over on the left to see the Riverdale cast talk about a musical episode, or click that box over on the right to see 11 craziest 13 reasons why fans season two theories.